Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday morning and Matt and I are gearing up to go pick up a fridge at a friend's house. They have been renovating their house and they upgraded to a panel ready fridge and they're selling their old fridge, which is actually quite new. It just doesn't work with their new kitchen design. Um, and we currently have a side-by-side -side, like fridge freezer and we don't like that layout because it's super narrow and you can't fit anything in there. At our old house, we had fridge on top, freezer on bottom with a drawer and we loved it. So that's what their old fridge is and they have offered to sell it to us. So we're going to go pick it up. Hopefully it doesn't fly off the trailer. This is our first time ever picking up an item like this and Matt, Matt has a plan, so I'm just trusting him. Um, so we're gonna go pick that up, crossing our fingers that it fits just fine and the swap is pretty painless. So I'll keep you posted and bring you along. So we have the hand truck, we've got wood to wedge it if needed. We've got straps and a moving blanket and hopefully that's everything. If not, we'll uh, pivot. Plan B. Alright, so we are leaving Home Depot. We just got some more ratchet tie downs um, just in case we need extra. We already have four, but we're not sure how many we're going to need to make sure this thing doesn't fly off the trailer, so better safe than sorry. And then we also grabbed lights to replace the lights above the kitchen islands so that we don't keep bonking our heads. safely. Matt secured this very well so we're gonna unstrap it and it looks like it should fit through the door so we'll see if the two of us can get it inside. This is either going to go really well or really badly. Here goes nothing. So we ended up taking the handles off because it's pretty narrow and that'll just give us a little bit of wiggle room when we're trying to get it through the door. I find it bridge so that could be the antenna for the wire. Oh. So we got it inside by the skin of its little teeth with some ingenuity, including the car jack. And Matt used his incredible strength to lift while I gently pushed. But it's inside. Now we're gonna give it a good clean. We're gonna try to figure out how to disconnect our current fridge and hope that this fits in the same space. We're gonna take a lunch break. I'm having buttered noodles. We made beef stroganoff earlier this week and we had a ton of extra noodles, so. I'm eating those up, we're gonna put our feet up for a few minutes and then we'll get back to cleaning out the current fridge and switching locations. <laughs> finished up we got everything loaded in it's crazy this is only like two more cubic feet than our old fridge but there's just the layout is so much better so now we have full width so I can put like a sheet of cookie dough in here and refrigerate it and then this thing this is fancy so this door there's another oops there's another button and if I click that and open it you can see your condiments from the inside without having to open the whole door, which is cool. Got this drawer. Right now it's got all my seeds and a few drinks. And then this drawer has like a double freezer, which is like our old one. So I've got some stuff, this, the smaller stuff on the top shelf. 
And then I've got the bigger stuff on the bottom. And that's it. So happy. This makes me so happy. It's just, it works so much better. So now we just have to clean this fridge up. I will probably sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so we'll clean it up and move it out to the barn so that we have our room back here. Um, and then the swap will be complete. I'm going to finish cleaning up and then we're gonna make tomato soup and grilled cheese for dinner. Matt will probably have toast because he doesn't like grilled cheese. Um, we are pretty tired from moving fridges and cleaning fridges and all the fridge things today. All good stuff, but it took a lot out of us. So we are excited to eat a yummy dinner and watch a movie and enjoy the very first snowfall of the year, which I'm so excited about. I love a good snowstorm. We are all ready. Snowblower works. We've got shovels, we've got salt, um, and we're ready to get snowed in. So I will make sure to take lots of photos and videos to share it with you. I think it's gonna be amazing when we wake up. Matt just got a new axe because we have a habit of breaking them. I think we've just been buying the wrong ones or using really old ones like his grandfather's. Uh, but he just got a new axe so he's testing it out. It claims to split the wood in one hit. So we're gonna put it to the test. This is the shot. Woo! This is way easier. All right, Matt, what do you think of the new axe? It's great. Much better than the wedge, huh? Much better. Walking into oncoming snow. Feels very Star Wars-y right now. I have to turn around. So that one seems to be much better than anything we've done in the past. We used to try wedges and all kinds of things to split the wood and things would get stuck or we'd have to have multiple wedges to work another wedge out. So this one is much sharper, much more durable, and it doesn't quite split the wood in a single hit. Some of the larger pieces, you need a couple of hits to really split it, but this is the easiest time we've had splitting wood. And when I say we, I mean Matt, because I can barely swing that thing. dogs have burned off all kinds of energy playing around in the snow so we came in to start some turkey chowder we have some turkey left over from Thanksgiving that we froze so I'm gonna throw that in the crock pot with some veggies and then Matt and I are probably gonna watch an episode or two of a new favorite show called fool me once it's on Netflix and um, it reminds us a lot of the show night agent if, if anyone watched that it's a little suspense murder mystery type show and it's awesome very addicting keeps you on the edge of your seat then we will probably go outside and snow blow we kind of wait until most of the snow has fallen and i think by late afternoon early evening we should be in good shape so we'll go snow blow and while we're outside i'm going to grab my click and grow garden indoor garden setup um and clean that up so i can see if we can get a few seeds started while we wait to pick up all the seeds and supplies that my sister has in her order. So I'll be seeing her toward the end of January um, to get that and then, then we'll get into the thick of it. The snow is literally up to my knees right now. <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy. All our shovels are locked in the shed, so we have to clear it with our feet. <laughs>
currently outside with a paint roller <laughs> knocking icicles off the roof. <laughs> I made a batch of my favorite s'mores bars. They are mini marshmallows melted with a cup unmelted mixed into the Golden Graham cereal and then um, you can use chocolate chunks or Hershey Kisses or Hershey bars or whatever chocolate you have and like just press that into the top and then cut them up into bars. They are the best. Tuesday I have pulled out my indoor garden setup so that I can get some things growing before we get into the seed starting later this winter early spring for the actual garden Matt got this for me a few years ago for Christmas and ever since we moved I haven't pulled it out and I was reminded of it the other day so I pulled it out I cleaned it up and I actually found that I have a few seeds that I ordered probably two years ago now um, left over. So I figured I'm gonna stick these in and see if anything happens. They might not grow, but I would hate to throw them away if they are perfectly fine. So I'm gonna stick them in here and we'll give them a few weeks and see if anything comes up. This is called the Click and Grow, or the brand is called Click and Grow. I don't know if this is exactly what this particular device is called, but it has um, this little arm that attaches at the top, which includes the lights, so you can see them along the inside here. So you just clip this on. Actually, it needs to go the other way. There we go. And then you can run the cord down the side here. It has this little groove for it. And then, let me plug it in so you can see. There we go. So as you can see, it has lights, grow lights attached. So um, I believe if I remember correctly, this is on an eight or 12 hour timer automatically. So as soon as you plug it in, the timer starts. I'm going to unplug it so I don't look like creepy. You can buy seeds from the company. They come in these little three packs like this. Or you can buy pre-packed soil, which looks like this as well. It just doesn't have a seed in it, and you can put your own seed in it. But at some point, I want to try just putting my own, you know, seed mixture and seeds in here and see if that works. Because, you know, this stuff gets expensive. I love them. They're super convenient. But if I could make it myself, it would be so much more cost-effective and convenient. So I have pak choy, chives cilantro and black pansy which is actually edible so I think I'm gonna put I have one two three four five six seven eight nine so I think I'll do like three two 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 and I will probably do three of the pak choy because this will eat a lot of so you can just peel back this top before I put these in, let me explain how this works. So this bottom section is a um, is like a water container. So you pour the water in at this little end cap here, and it has a floating device, so it indicates where the water level is. So this thing really is self-watering to a degree. Um, each of these little cups that you put your seed pods in have these... Um, tubes that suck the water up into the little pod. So that way you don't have to keep watering it yourself. Um, you can just watch the water level over here and when the whole water level is low you can just refill it. These will manage themselves. So once you have all your cups in and you open up your seed packet, you can take these little pods, they look like this, I don't know if you can see that, and you just you literally just drop them into each of the cups. It's as simple as that. So 
So I like to group them just because, I don't know, I like that look, but you could totally randomize them if you like that. Hey, you cannot have that. Junie is stealing Piper's breakfast. all of my little cups filled with the seed pods. So what I'm going to do is take my watering can, which is here, and fill up down here, which I will show you close up in a second. So you just slowly pour it in. So you can see here, if I tap this little floater, that's telling me that the water level is here. If this is sitting all the way down to the bottom, that means I need to refill it. So if you just keep an eye on this floater, it will tell you when you need to refill it. And it's not too frequently. Um, you know, just keep on an, an eye on it every few days. Now that everything is watered, um, it actually comes with these little clear plastic domes and these little like U-shaped tops. So these um, I don't put on until the seedling starts to come up. Um, I, to be honest, I don't really know what the point of it is. I think it's just to kind of help um, per control like where the plant is growing. So you can put these on later, but the domes are going to help the seed germinate. So you can put these on each of your little cups. light is coming down and the water is coming up you're creating this warm and moist environment for the seed to germinate and and that way they'll germinate more quickly now once you see the seedlings start to pop up and they're starting to touch the tops of these little domes you can take the domes off if you want you can put these little caps on and they just slide they're like a u-shape they just slide around sort of the base of the plant so that's it, the system is pretty self-managing. You really only have to check on it every few days to make sure the water level isn't too low. And if it is, just fill it up with some more water. It's, it's a lot of fun, especially in the winter months when it's sad and cold and nothing's growing. It just gives you a little bit of life inside. So um, hopefully those seeds will take off. We will see. If not, we will move to plan B. somehow the day has flown by and it just started snowing pretty heavily like super wet snow I think we're right on the verge of rain so I'm hoping it stays snow for a little bit just so that the commute isn't terrible for Matt um, but I digress I am starting to make some bacon because um, we're gonna do breakfast for dinner again <laughs> it's just we're just using stuff up and it just so happens that we have a lot of breakfast foods so I wanted to share a little tip that I do when cooking bacon. I know people make bacon like a million different ways, but um, I, I thought this was a little bit of a clever trick that helps keep the grease off of the bacon a little bit. So they have all kinds of tools for cooking bacon, but if you like me, just cook your bacon on a tray. I just use a cookie sheet. I do double up on the foil so the pan doesn't get covered in oil. But I, what you can do is crumple up your foil so that it creates like ridges. And then when you set your bacon on top, it's supposed to act as like a drip tray almost. So I would crumple this even more usually. I kind of flatten it out. But if you crumple it up pretty deeply and leave like the texture of the ripples and you place your bacon on top, the grease will kind of sink into the grooves and then your bacon isn't just like sitting in the grease the whole time. So. If you prefer less, slightly less greasy bacon, you can give this a go and see if it helps a bit. my office. It is currently the dumping zone. It is the room where things just get thrown when I don't feel like looking at them or thinking about them. 
and then I often forget they exist. So it is time in 2024 to make this a real office. I want this to be a space that I can work in, I can keep my stuff organized in, and it brings me joy. I want to love being in here. And right now, this is not working for me. So in a past life, I was a calligrapher. I used to design luxury stationery for weddings and events, and I loved that. But I don't need the stuff as much as I used to. So I want to go through it, pare some of it down, and then just organize it in such a way that when I'm looking for things like paper or markers or my Cricut materials, I can still access them, but it's not taking over the majority of the space. Um, I don't want to throw away too much because I still love doing crafts, I still love making things, and that's something I'm always going to do, but it's not currently organized in a way that maximizes the space. Being organized is something that is very important to me and my mental health because if I am not organized, my brain is not organized. And when my brain is not organized, everything feels like chaos. So we're going to start by just going through everything. I've got, you can kind of see in the background here, I've got this whole closet. This is basically filled with like craft supplies and office supplies. And then you can't even see the mess you're sitting on right now. It is our old kitchen island, which I repurposed as my desk in this space temporarily, that is just filled with stuff. I've got literally yarn over here. I've got all my utensils and utensils. Is that what those are called? Pens and pencils? I'm blanking. Okay, we're gonna call them for utensils for now. Um, I've got like just like old projects here. I've got wires, cords, like anything, you name it. I've got a sewing machine, I've got a printer, I've got a mirror just leaning up against the wall. I even put <laughs> I even put the click and grow garden thing on the floor in here. Like this is truly the dumping zone, but it's also now a temporary garden space. So we're gonna get organized. We're gonna clear everything out. Once I kind of pare it down, I'm gonna put everything in boxes because I want this room to be completely empty so that we can start to plan what we are going to build for a desk and built-in sort of storage situation. Okay, this is going to take so much longer than it needs to because I'm going through all of my old calligraphy work and sometimes like I surprise myself. I think we all probably experience that. Sometimes I surprise myself with like what I come up with in my mind. And just looking through this work, I'm so proud of the things that I made in the past. I still love them. This is one of my favorites. This was a suite I did for a styled shoot and it was like orange or like citrus themed. So we did like a citrus themed like vellum overlay and we used like peachy tones and we did like an envelope liner on this cute little peach envelope. It was fun. All right, it does not look like much, but I promise you we have made good progress. I've cleared out all the stuff, like the sewing machine and all the stuff here. I emptied all of these shelves and moved everything into here. It's very packed in here, but at least everything is somewhat organized and labeled, so I can still kind of access it. We probably won't be doing any renovating in the closet for this first phase so i'll use this as like a functional space while we're building over on this wall um so eventually i just need to figure out where to put this stuff we need to break this down we're going to sell this island um i have to find a place for the printer and obviously the garden um, i'll roll up the rug and then this stuff can probably be stored outside since it's in tubs or in the basement even um, and then this is just a box for boxes. I store all my camera lens boxes just in case I ever sell them. So I'm gonna pack those away in the barn. And then this stuff, I just need to figure out a good home for. I used to put it in a basket in the living room, but the dog kept stealing it. So that's why it's up on the chairs. So I need to figure out a better location for that. And then we will have a big clear space and I'll start to kind of visualize what this wall is going to look like. Sorry, I have something in my hand. That's why I'm giving you like three fingers. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a sort of symmetrical um, 
built-in shelf, built-in shelf, and then like a desk situation in the middle. I would love to design it in such a way that I could like spin a piece out so that I can also work and face this way and look out the window. Um, but then I can sort of like tuck it back in and work this way when, you know, I need more space or whatever. So I got to work on designs and get clever, but really we don't have too much interfering. We've got a switch over here and we've got a plug down there. So it's a good clean slate and it's a small room. Most of the room is cleared out. I feel like we made good progress today. Next steps are just kind of like getting the rest of this stuff out so that we have a blank slate. Then I can kind of visualize what I want to design. I've been kind of procrastinating because I haven't quite figured it out yet, like what I want to do. And I want to take the time to do it right. So it hasn't been a rush. I've had the dining room table <laughs> to work on. So um, once it's clear, I can kind of just sit in here and sketch and look at my inspiration and see what might work and um, go from there. But hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll be getting started on this slowly but surely. Um, trying to take this at a pace that's reasonable. <laughs> Something I'm not good at, but trying to be better at. Um, yeah, and then we'll bring you along for the journey and learn together. This is the mirror that was just in my office. I actually found it on Facebook Marketplace probably six months ago now it's just been sitting in there i got it because i thought it would be nice for a future office but i just didn't know where to hang it yet and i knew we were going to be redesigning the space eventually so i just stuck it in the corner one of the things i love most is thrifting and finding beautiful secondhand antique pieces and um hopefully i'll be able to take you on a trip soon i just have been so busy and haven't had time to go shopping or walk around an antique mall, but um, now that the holidays are over and we're starting to get back into the swing of things in January here, um, hopefully I'll be able to take a trip soon and we can go shopping together. I have migrated upstairs. I'm going to wash my face, take my makeup off, brush my teeth, and try to edit for like 30 minutes. Hello everyone, it is birthday evening and Matt has just gotten home with some of my favorite things. We got Wegman subs, we got snacks and candy, he brought a whole bunch of flowers that I can arrange myself which is my favorite way to receive flowers and he got some miscellaneous drink options because I'm not drinking at least in January. So he got some non-alcoholic wine, some seltzer and what else did he get? Mineral water or something. But anyway, we are about to post up, eat some food, play a game, which is still TBD. I just got a bunch of our card games out um, and the game Ticket to Ride. It's like a smaller version of the larger game. So we'll go through those and figure out what we want to play. Okay, I know the grass bits probably make it look a little bit crazy, but I kind of love it. I love how it's just like a big messy hairdo. 
How fun. This is probably my favorite. I think this is called Penny Crest. I just love like the texture of it as a filler. Well, that was a lovely evening. We played War and we played this game called Anomia. It's supposed to be played with three to six people, but with two people, we just kind of like make up our own version of it. It's basically like category cards and you have to like quickly name something in the category of the card. And then whoever names it gets to keep the card and whoever has the most cards at the end wins. And it's really fun. It's an easy two person game that we kind of modified and it goes pretty quickly. So we played those. I put my flowers together and I had my sub and almost all the candy. It's not all gone. I just had to try it all, of course. I just didn't dip into the Doritos, which are another guilty pleasure of mine. So we'll save those for another day. But I'm going to take the makeup off, wash my face, and get ready for bed. I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, we will pick up in the next one with office cleanup and updates on the um, indoor garden that I just planted, which I think things are starting to germinate. It's very exciting. I was peeking under my little domes this evening. Um, but yeah, we've got lots of good stuff coming. I'm going to try to order some grow lights this weekend, so I'll share what I'm ordering. And I will catch you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check the description for any links I've mentioned. And I will see you soon.